Hello, I'm Councillor Wayne Fitzgerald, leader of Peterborough City Council. We've all longed to see restrictions on our lives lifted and a return to being able to do more of what we used to enjoy. On Monday, this is what we will get, but it's not quite the return to normal we've all been hoping for. And we must remember, we'll no longer be required by law to follow the previous guidance. We'll be able to choose who we spend time with indoors and where and when we should wear a face mask, for example. But that doesn't mean we should stop doing the things that we know will keep people safe and reduce the spread of the virus. The advice from the Prime Minister is clear. We will be allowed to make our own judgments about the precautions we take when going about our everyday lives. But we must continue to follow the good practices that have become commonplace for us every day. That's because the pandemic is not over. And the reality is that people are still at risk from COVID-19. Rates remain higher than we would like in Peterborough. They've risen 39% in a week. And at the time of recording this video, they are, are 152 per 100,000. The fact remains that we must try and return to a more normal way of life. If we cannot do it now during the warmer weather, with more time spent outdoors and the children about to break up from school, and when our NHS is least busiest, then when can we? So let us all support the local economy too, and especially those businesses that have suffered because of the restrictions of the pandemic. It's time to get out and about this summer. So why not spend some time in our thriving city centre, or at the cinema, or even in the library, or at a swimming pool, a visitor attraction, or one of the many parks and open spaces across the city. Just do whatever you like doing before COVID changed all our lives. When doing so, remember what you need to do to protect yourself, your family, and the wider community. Where possible, meet people outdoors or in well-ventilated spaces. Keep a polite distance from others and wear a face mask, especially in crowded places or where you can't keep socially distanced. And remember to wash your hands well and often. It's also important to get both doses of a vaccine as soon as you are able. And do get a test if you have any symptoms of COVID-19 and self-isolate if you test positive or if asked to do so by the NHS Test and Trace Service. You should also rapid test twice a week if you attend secondary school or if your workplace asks you to do so and before going to an event and prior to visiting older or more vulnerable friends and relatives. We've come so far together, which has put us in a much stronger place than we all were last summer. But the battle with COVID is not over yet, which is why we must all continue to play our part and do the right thing as we enter this next phase of living with COVID-19. That's it for now, but do stay safe, do stay well, and thanks for listening.